Hello, um, and world. My name is Alexis Acosta, and I am from fifth grade. Today, we are gonna do the world of Kodu. Students have been learning Kodu for the past two and a half months, which is a virtual program language specific to developing games. It's pretty awesome. Creating, like, like to create. This is our, our world. We not actually plan. We just, we just um, making a game. Kodu is a place where you can create games for everything. I am supposed to create stuff like decorate it and stuff. We've seen some amazing stuff. Uh, to think that this is the first time that some of these kids have ever even touched anything like this, it's absolutely amazing. So, My role was is to um, create, um, put all the blocks and color the whole, the, um, the um, whole, world, like, the the whole, whole world, world, make it all dark so it could be so like creepy and scary and stuff. Isaiah is supposed to put the enemies and set up the stuff that they're going to do to the to the good guys and Moises does the combat to what do they shoot at him and, and I like do the story like make the story and my friend my my other this is other girl Asia she was she's here too and she um she did all the um all the like the lighting the the lights and the um the sky the sky docket and she programmed it and he programmed it too and we all put it in a bunch and made it like this oh we we, we drew a maze we have trees. <laughs> Our game's called um, Yeah Alexis World. It's a mixture of my partner's name and my name. We have to first, we have to defeat all the enemies, and then we have to kill the henchmen that are protecting the the factory that the factory that is making more enemies to take over the world. So and then you have to shoot the factory, and once you shoot the factory, it shows a little screen that says winner. And if you win the game, game. It's, it's a nice game. To move Kodu, you must use the arrow keys. You can eat purple apples and destroy anything red. Be careful on the way, because there will be two paths. One is dead end, and the other one are three octopuses. They might not let you go to Mr. Angry. After you complete, you'll be crowned the winner, and you might move on to the next level if you want. Thank you. I'm very impressed the way these young people have uh, worked on this project. One young man even took the work home and worked on it for about a half an hour at home to come up with this game. Our assistant principal, Mr. Lira, and our teachers, uh, Mr. Dietz, Mrs. Tan, Mrs. Evans, Mrs. Stark, Mrs. Aguilera, and Mr. Clark have worked incredibly hard to teach our students a fun way to learn technology languages and uh, to create their own games. Coding isn't really being taught in elementary schools. It's not even really being taught in high schools yet. Um, Myself and my friends here all are in within this industry and we really wanted to take the opportunity to come down here to talk to them and show them what they could do and really kind of give them some pointers or really just see their enthusiasm as to what it is that they're doing. I'm very uh, proud and honored uh, to be on a team that understands and gets it and understands the importance of developing students with the with the problem solving ability and, the, and just the ability to be cri become critical thinkers and learn technology languages. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm seeing this. This is what we're about. Next generation, future generations. Um, remember, it's not about winning or losing. It's about the enjoyment of the game.